What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be talking about this crazy week we had this last week and really these last couple weeks as it pertains to the overall spot price of all of the precious metals. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody. So precious metals have gone off the rails these past couple weeks, and we're going to talk about it today. So I've been following the charts very closely because I finally reached a point where I can start buying again after a little break there, probably about a month or so. I had to get some finances in order, but now I'm starting to get back into buying. And so in that, I've been watching the charts very closely of silver, and platinum and even gold, right? And they've all been absolutely crazy. And we're gonna talk about it in this video and I'm gonna give my thoughts and some, some things I've been thinking about. So, first and foremost, when we look at the silver chart, we look and we see last week we ended up. If we look at the gold chart, we look and we see last week we ended up. We look at the platinum chart, and we see we went up substantially from the beginning of the week, but we closed a little bit down. And then when we look at the palladium chart, we can see we closed the most down, right? Up overall for the week, but the most down at the end of the week. So I think this is interesting because I think this pinpoints the difference between gold and silver versus platinum and palladium, right? They can move very differently at different times. So if you're a platinum stacker like me, platinum is probably the best buy over this past weekend because it's actually down from its weekly high, if you will. Whereas silver and gold ended up ending the week at a weekly high. And so platinum's the buy this weekend. If you were buying precious metals, I hope you bought some platinum. But regardless, it's interesting to look at. And these past couple of weeks, if you look at the week prior, we saw sort of a similar sort of trend in that it go, it, we're seeing a rally behind precious metals overall as a whole these past few weeks. Now, what does that mean? Will this rally hold forever? Well, I've made a couple of videos recently talking specifically about uh, why I was waiting and stuff like that and how I was thinking there was going to be a pullback. What I think now is... It's really kind of unpredictable. Where is this next week going to go? Now, this video is going to post on Monday, so maybe Monday will be a different story. But regardless, where are we going to go from here? Is silver going to come back down? Is gold going to come down a little bit? Will platinum continue going down as it did at the end of last week? I don't really know for sure, and it's anybody's guess. However, if you ask me, I think platinum is the best buy right now because it's not seeing the same rally that gold and silver is having. And so I kind of want to know what y'all's thoughts and opinions are, right? Silver is an interesting metal in that we like to sort of round off our purchase limit, right? I remember for a very long time, way back in the day, most people were like, I'm not buying silver over $20 an ounce, right? So when it went up, you know, you were buying generics. And when it went down, maybe you were buying coins like this. And for platinum, a lot of people have that same mindset in that they don't want to buy above $1,000 an ounce. And so it's still in a good position, right? You can still find platinum for below that. Gold, on the other hand, has always been very different. And so you can't really compare that metal in a sense of having sort of a limit, right? Because the theory is gold always goes up. <laughs> um, but regardless... It's interesting stuff we saw this past week. Now, what will this next week hold? Again, we're not really quite sure. And I don't think anybody can really say for certain how they think it's going to go. But at the end of the day, it's probably best to just buy when you can, right? And so I'm actually pretty happy because I was waiting throughout the week. I was really looking a lot and very closely 
at the Kookaburra. And that was what my purchase was going to be over the weekend. But a deal popped up that I just could not refuse. And so I went ahead and purchased something other than a Kookaburra because I was able to save quite the percentage. And if you follow my channel closely, you saw that post I made. I was able to save quite the percentage on my purchase versus just buying sort of in a panic, right? And that's another thing. When we watch these metal prices go up, it's best not to get too emotional about it. Constitutional Stacker has really been talking a lot about making decisions based upon emotions. And I tend to agree with him in that when we decide to actually make a purchase and buy some precious metals, it's important to take a step back and see why we're doing it. What is the reason we're buying these metals? Is it because we're seeing the price go up and up and up and we're fearful that we're gonna miss the train as it's leaving the station? Or is it that we just think it's a good time to buy and we're pretty confident that whatever this rally is, it's gonna hold, right? But I'd love to know y'all's comments and y'all's thoughts and opinions on the matter. Do you think this rally is gonna continue for for a while now, or do you think there's gonna be a pullback and a settle off? Not sell off, but a settle off, right? Where we just kinda of flatline at a certain point. A lot of people have been talking about silver because if you watch a lot of the YouTube channels, you'll see like, oh, this is it, this is the takeoff, it's moved up $2 in two days or what have you, and so this is it, right? It's important not to allow those thumbnails and those video titles to sort of get your emotions running, right? I reckon that's why they do it, right? They get you thinking about it emotionally and excited, and so you click on their videos and you watch them, but it's important to just think with a clear mind. So as far as this rally is concerned, what are my thoughts and opinions? Well, I think it's still a wait and see, right? I think we should wait and hold back and see. If you got some over the weekend, great. If you got some recently, great. Maybe just take a little breather here and see where things go. At the end of the day, precious metals, historically, regardless of what it is, silver, gold, or platinum, none of them have just doubled in price overnight. It's, it's sort of a slow burn, if you will, right? It slowly goes up, and there's, there's some rallies in the mix, and there's some uh, sell-offs or settle-offs in the mix, but realistically, it's a slow burn, and that's what you gotta kinda think about when you think about stacking precious metals, is I'm buying this, for a long-term hold, this is real money, this goes up with inflation, yada, yada, yada. And yes, that even includes platinum in my opinion. But that's my thoughts and opinions on the recent rally. Do I think it's gonna continue? I'm just unsure. And I'm really unsure about a lot of things these days in this crazy old world we live in. But with all that being said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the video. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out, hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. With all that being said, until next time, We'll see y'all.